shy of, of 100K YouTube, perfect YouTube formula out here. Yes. But Brittany, I do know mm -hmm. you're, you're just you're just shy of, of 100K YouTube subscribers. Mm -hmm. What what what's the what's the formula, Brittany? What, what, what's, <laughs> what, what's, what's your formula to grow a YouTube channel? Like, I, I need to know. I need to know. Well, I want to be very transparent. Subscribers didn't do not equal dollar amounts, depending on your platform and depending on what your audience is. is it's all about conversion. It's all about percentages, right? So I'm going to be 100% transparent. When I changed my content, I started losing viewers. When I started focusing more on God, when I started do, doing morning motivation, everybody wasn't into it. Um, I've grown up a lot. When I started my channel, I was 26, 26. 27, 26, 27, around that time. I'm going to be 34 next week. So I've evolved as a person. The things that I'm into that I used to, that I used to like, I'm not into anymore. YouTube and, and social media has changed so much since we started uh, years ago. So yes, I have a big audience, but now my audience, my core audience is a, a lot smaller. And what I would say to anybody that's building a platform, do not worry about subscribers Worry about the people that keep coming to you. Worry about the viewers. Worry about the people who are continuously feeding your soul. Because to be 100% honest, Jonathan, I wish I had less subscribers and more views. Mm. Because views, views are interaction, views are engagement. And what I'm experiencing now, just being fully transparent, is I do have a lot of subscribers, but my views are down. And so business-wise, outside looking in, it doesn't look that sexy. It doesn't look that like, ooh, she's doing that great. But one thing that I that I will tell anybody to do is why you focus on who is coming because that that you, you get quality over quantity. Back in the day, everybody pushed the subscribe button. Now people are being more selective with their subscribes. Back in the day, well, I like one video, I'm going to push a subscribe. I got on the train where everybody was just subscribing. Now I'm whittling down to my core audience. So I would say this, the secret sauce to gaining over time is just consistency, is the discipline, is making sure that this is what you want, not because you think that you're going to get a whole bunch of money, because I'm telling you it, that it doesn't always equal that, mm -hmm. and that you're doing it to serve and you're doing it to add value to other people's lives. Either you're entertaining, you're educating, or you're informing some sort of something in the sort. Not just that you think it's going to be a fast cash grab because it's not. You still have to, it's still a business. You still have to set up your automations. And if you're, I'm a coach, I have clients, I have eBooks and digital products. All of that stuff still has to run too. So there are people that are making a lot of money just off social media. I'm just not that person. My money comes from other sources. So the subscribers look great. It's, it's a great, like a billboard, like, hey, but it doesn't always equal money. Um, and again, the, it's what really matters are the people who view you, that connect with you, that you add value to. That's really your secret sauce, not your subscriber count, because that doesn't always equal true, um, true, true audience, true core audience. For sure. I got you. Yeah.